Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to some more Enter the Gungeon. I was insanely close to saying uh, Binding of Isaac right there. Uh, we're doing Paradox as a character. Uh, pretty sure we're also doing a Rainbow Run. Yeah, cool. Okay, it didn't change anything. I have Blasphemy Sword thing. Light gun, which is okay, uh, and then also whatever the heck we get out of this, uh, I will take Ancient Heroes Bandana, because it's really good, um, and gives us a, a whole buttload of ammo uh, for the entire game. Obviously, there's there's a lot of guns that end up uh, benefiting just an insane, insane amount, and that's something that obviously we're going to play into a little bit as we go here. Yo, the map is so zoomed in, and now I have almost killed myself there because I took the time to zoom out the dang map instead of just playing the freaking game but that's okay I uh, hope you guys are having a good one today it's been like a real boy and you can tell <laughs> it's been a real uh, hot minute since I have done any recording at all uh, but also a hot minute since I've played Gungeon uh, it's probably been like a good week and a half, almost two weeks since I've recorded Gungeon. I had a decent backlog uh, of Gungeon for a little while, and then I went away for the 4th of July um, and, and barely posted during that time frame, which also meant, you know, I didn't play any Gungeon during that time frame. Uh, didn't play anything during that time frame, but that's neither here nor there. Um, I've just been away from Gungeon for a little bit, and then I had a little bit of... Uh, spare time tonight and went hey you know what let's let's record a gungeon video i wanted something nice and chill uh to not you know make me totally rage uh and gungeon is one of those games where i feel like it's just a very fair game uh where if i die it's not really the game's fault it's just like a hundred percent totally my own fault uh, and for some reason, that actually makes me feel better <laughs> when I play Gungeon, uh, which turns it into a relatively peaceful experience for me, uh, because I'm okay sucking at a game. That's not the part that makes me mad. It's when the game itself uh, throws something at me that I know uh, I was not meant to handle. It's when, you know, uh, you're playing uh, a battle royale and you get really trash loot the entire time. That's the kind of stuff that I get mad at when it comes to a game. Or if you're playing Isaac and uh, and they re-roll your run in a strange situation. I don't know how you would accidentally re-roll your run. Uh, but you re-roll your run, you just get something that is like marked uh, soy milk. And you go, okay, I mean, this is just not doable. That's the kind of stuff I get mad about. But like a Gungeon run is probably going to be me sucking if I'm going to lose. Uh, and, and I've just accepted me sucking a Gungeon. Um, that said, I think we're on a one streak. We're really making the big bucks right now uh, in terms of the streak. I think we're on a one streak. I might be wrong. It, it also might literally be a, uh, a zero streak. I can't remember if I died in the last video or not. I, I don't even remember what... what part of the streak we're on. I'm calling this a Gungeon streak, but we all kind of have an understanding of what this actually is. Uh, it's not a streak at all. It's just me playing as the Paradox and doing uh, random stuff. And I'm calling it a rainbow r run, rainbow chest uh, streak, even though I know full well there's a decent chance I'm probably not going to do a rainbow run every single run either, even though it's literally a rainbow run uh, streak. Look, it's just a matter of time, you know? It, we, we, we've been playing a lot of Gungeon. We, we've cranked out, uh, actually, like, close to another 30 episodes of Gungeon since Farewell to Arms came out, which is a lot, man. Uh, I Most of my Gungeon series end um, after around 30 episodes, and I don't, I don't really think that I'm prepared to end my Gungeon series yet. However, I will say I'm getting close. Like, I, I'm not, I'm not 100% die. You know what? The fact that I got hit against the, the Trigger Twins kind of tells you the state that I'm in tonight. Uh, we're we're going to have more bad mistakes here to come. But, um, I am, I'm not at the point where I'm ready to end Gungeon because I still want to play this game a decent amount. But I'm reaching the point where it's like, uh, if something came up that I wanted to replace it with, 
I wouldn't turn a blind eye against it. You know, Spelunky 2 comes out, we're dropping Gungeon kind of situation. That said, Spelunky 2, at this rate, I just never think it's going to come out. But uh, you know what? Give me... Oh, there's so much here I want, actually. Because I really like Vorpal Bullets. Uh, and this thing just looks insane. A railgun. Let's take the railgun. I, I like to... Oh, this, this is not... Okay, I mean, it's it's pretty good, is what I'm going to say about that. I'm not going to say too much more than, yeah, it's pretty good. The fact it has 160 bullets in it as well, um, strikes me as pretty okay. Um, I mean, you're, you are seeing this, right? It's pretty strong. There, there, there's value here. There's value. I... I I, I can at least get down with it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain in the slightest. Um, but no, I, I'm not against getting rid of Gungeon uh, if something came up. But I just, you know, I like to replace series with similar genre. Uh, and I'm just, I'm not positive there's a roguelite out that I want to play. Uh, like a lot of in terms of a series right now. You know, I've been playing a lot of Moonlighter in the in the Tyler one-off series uh where we play three episodes of a game moonlighter is a lot of fun i i don't really think that it's a game i can see myself playing more than uh more than the three episodes that i'm doing it you know i think the game is just okay um is it a possible option for a series i think anything ends up being an option for a series right i mean i i could pull something super out of a hat and say okay and we're doing a, a bookworm deluxe series and most people are going to be like hell yes dude pop cap let's do it um I, i'm not really intending on doing a bookworm series but i could and people would still support me on it which is cool that said uh once again Still not really planning on, on ending Gungeon anytime soon. I just don't have a replacement in mind for it. You know, I picked up a couple of games and I've been put, putting some polls out there uh, to see what people think about certain games. Uh, those are all possibilities if you've seen those polls. Those are all possibilities of games that I may uh, look to do a series on sometime soon. Um, I, I picked up some of them in the Steam Summer Sale, which basically just means a guarantee that they will get played on the channel at some point in time um am i going to reveal what said games are no i mean i'm going to continue to be as discreet about it as possible and force you to go look on uh various social media platforms and things of that sort because i mean it solely just benefits me to have you go to my various socials follow me on twitter at alexayt um but hey that's that's life my dude where is our boss fight because i'm ready to go this is the problem with rainbow runs and i think that there's there's something to be said uh for rainbow runs in gungeon i think they are fun i don't think that they are necessarily the best for content which is why i know i were doing rainbow run streaks but i've had many people that have told me Tyler don't <laughs> and like we don't really want to see <laughs> this many of them uh we were fine with the one here and there but this many rainbow runs is is actually just too many rainbow runs uh and I think that there's there's something to be said for that and I think that we will probably end up changing this back to just being a, a paradox streak and we may just change it back to Tyler's gonna play whatever character he wants until he finally gets tired of Gungeon and ends the series but um there's just, there, there reaches a point, it's a little bit too much, uh, there's not enough excitement, you know, the excitement of a roguelite is collecting items. In a rainbow run, you don't collect as many items, thus, you know, as a result, it's not as exciting as it was. Uh, you know what, I have zero reason to do that, um, now that I think about it, because it just gives chests and I can't open them, so... Why would I do said challenge room? Like, that's another thing. Why, why would I do the challenge room, man? That's something that normally we'd be all over. We'd be like, yeah, sign me up. We're going to do the challenge room. Now, I'm sitting here going, kind of a waste of my time. Uh, I'm just going to lose HP for no good reason. You know, why would I do it? And that's the kind of stuff that leads me to believe that, you know, Rainbow Run's not all that they're, you know, originally cracked up to be kind of situation. Um... 
I just think that there are better things we could spend our time doing in Gungeon. Even if I did, like, Wheel of Gungeon streaks, that automatically, you know, you get the variety, you get the funkiness. That turns into a fun time. Um, rain Rainbow Paradox streaks? I can understand the frustration. I think that there's something to be said for, for just not doing that. Uh, this real gun's pretty good. I don't know... I don't know if anybody's told you, or if you've heard about this railgun thing. He's pretty strong. I will, uh, I will continue to use it, and it's gonna do good stuff. Not a secret room. This seems like the primo secret room spot. It absolutely was. It gave me nothing. Uh, so move on with your life and and head on down. Third floor, doing fine. Ten minute run. I mean, that's that's stupid fast so far. Five minutes per floor. Looking for a gun out of this one. Um, Vorpal Bullets. I'm with it. I don't know what a lot of these other ones are, so I'm going to go with the Vorpal Bullets. I, I don't necessarily think they're amazing for us here. I think we need a gun that uses Vorpal Bullets um, a little bit little bit easier than the Railgun. Um, because these other ones... I just don't think that any of them even can be vorpal-able? Vorpal-able? Is that a word? I mean, it is now, I think. Um, I'm not having a bad time. I mean, we're, we're still pretty strong on this one. Um, but a lot of that is just the nature of I have this massive railgun beam from hell thing going on. Um, it's pretty strong, especially when I charge it up, like, all the way, and then do a little bit of this action. It just kind of annihilates everything in the room. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty good, I think. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe somebody's gonna be like, hey, stupid, uh, best available gun was the, the freaky gun. And I'm gonna go, I didn't know what the freaky gun was, Jeremy. And you're gonna yell at me and I hate this. Uh, you're gonna yell at me and go, you know, hey, stupid, learn into the gungeon, and I'm gonna go, you know what, 100 hours in, I still don't know what half the items in the game are. I'm getting better at this one. It's funny, because there, there are not as many items in gungeon as there are in Isaac. However, I kind of felt like I, you learn Isaac items quicker than you learn gungeon guns and items, and it's because you don't when you pick up a, a Gungeon item, if you don't go check the uh, the inventory, you don't necessarily know what it does immediately. Uh, with Isaac, you, you see that immediate effect. Uh, I don't think that a lot of the time you see the immediate effect in, in Gungeon. So I'm going to say that that's the difference and know full well that I might just be crazy um, and that possibly has zero bearing on the situation whatsoever. But it sounded good, so that's what I'm going to say here. Give me that. Let's continue on. Luckily, Ancient Heroes Bandana. I mean, anything that has a low clip size automatically is an insanely good gun choice for us. I Also, just any gun is a good gun choice for us. Moving on to uh, the next floor here. Unless they give me, you know, a riddle of lead type scenario out of our chest um we will be taking a gun in the next one we, we can't genuinely can't afford to not take a gun in the next one because we need like a room clearing gun light gun just just is good but it's not it's not good enough for rainbow run stature that was probably some of the worst damage we've ever taken but life goes on you buy this you know what? I'll buy the blank as well. Maybe we can go for the flawless, get a little extra HP on this one. Our HP is actually, like, more than fine. And this is not something that I am concerned about. But I would like to, uh, get it as high as possible because, I mean, you, you've seen how these runs go. Uh, and it's not necessarily a walk in the park, especially once you head down to bullet hell. Uh, you just don't end up with the... The stuff you need to make this work. Now, Ancient Heroes Bandana does change that a little bit. Um, because it puts us into a scenario where ammo is no longer an issue. You know, normally what ends up happening in Bullet Hell for me, uh, on, on normal Gungeon runs, is I end up running out of ammo in all of the guns that I'd normally like to use. 
And that's what kills me in bullet hell. Um, with Ancient Heroes Bandana, you, I mean, you just don't have that issue. Uh, because you got crap loads of ammo in every gun. And, and you're going to get an ammo drop here and there. Uh, that makes it work. I hate this thing. You know what? Someday, man. I'm telling you. Someday I will not take damage from this. Uh, but today is not that freaking day, buddy. You're also just a real pain. Give me the ammo in this. It's so dumb that this thing has 160 ammo in it. Like, I feel like this is one of those guns that normally has like 20 bullets in it kind of thing. But he most definitely not. No, he big and chonky. And he doing big laser boom for us. Let's go fight the boss. It's going to be freaking Bell Lady. I hate this boss, man. I mean, she is such a real pain in the rear. Um, but luckily, we we kind of have the ultimate stopper against her. I did have to use one of my blanks there, but life goes on. She's going to do bell action. And when she does, we are able to literally just destroy all of them at once. She's about halfway dead. Okay. It's going fine. Okay. Just, just do a little bit of this action. You're dead. Good stuff. Okay. Uh, as another flawless in the books, I really would have liked if I got the Trigger Twins flawless earlier. Um, because we'd be sitting really, really nice right now. I'm just gonna go. There's, like, no reason to check, uh, anything else on floors in Rainbow Runs. There's another reason why... Rainbow runs are a little bit inferior to the rest of uh, the game. Okay, we need a gun. I mean, composite gun is literally, like, what you want here. It's a 200-bullet composite gun. I, I mean, you, you can't deny that this is probably the right move here uh, to rock composite gun. The whole point of composite gun is that it... it sucks. Well, I mean, it's very good, but the main only downside to it is the amount of ammo in it. We're basically just eliminating that concern. <laughs> Which then, as a result, makes the gun very unfair uh, and insanely good. You're not dead. What the hell? Get out of here, buddy. And then, I mean, we're also just getting the ammo to just recharge it anyway. Now, that said, this thing is not as accurate as I at least remember it being. I thought it was a pretty hit scan gun. Either that or I'm missing, which is also like definitely an option. But uh, I'm also trying to figure out, I, I swear this gun did more damage too, but maybe, maybe now I'm just going insane. Get out of here, you stupid. We still want to enter the room by railgunning, I think, and then work from there. It's just we, we're going to one-shot most enemies with composite gun. And bosses are going to really be hurt uh, by composite gun. It's one that you, you normally use it against bosses to begin with because of the low clip size. Since we're basically allowing ourselves to use composite gun as a room clearer, and then stick with Railgun as our as our boss clear. It's a very, very different strategy than what I've used in the past. And I suppose that that's just the nature of... Uh, that's partially the nature of a Rainbow Run. Is a lot of the time you're just using strategies you don't normally go with in Gungeon. So, it, it, it's working fine. And we're, we're seeing... Good benefit already out of this situation. Come on, fire. You're you're fine. I was going to yell at you because I was about to fall off the cliff, but we ended up fine. Armor? Good stuff. How much is the next one? 38? I'll 
see you when I see you, because we might be doing that as well. We got 10 HP. I mean, it's not hard to be uh, happy about this. That's a very good amount of HP. We could go do Secret Floor. Uh, it's an extra, extra item. I don't really think we need the extra item on this one. I kind of think that this run is, is actually fine uh, and also just good as well. Like, it's one thing for the run to be uh, fine. It's another for the run to be good. This is one where I think it's, it's a genuinely good run. And as long as you keep on filling composite gun, I'm going to keep using it as the pistol of my dreams to destroy everything around me. Um, pretty strong. I wish I could put more like bullets into a clip on it like that would be beneficial so i didn't have to reload uh these guys are a hundred and fifty percent a railgun scenario and will make for a nice easy victory against them because we should just be able to do this and they all go goodbye yeah I mean we, that's exactly what happened by the way just want to point that out okay and you're dead as another flaws in the book it's a really strong gungeon run man I mean all rainbow runs end up being very strong which is another reason why I'm a little uh, iffy on doing them all the time, but uh, let's see how much HP we can actually get. This is going to be Tyler's strongest gungeon run in terms of HP. Show me the money. What am I looking for here? I mean, this just gravitated towards me, but I have no idea what any of these guns are. Uh, this has shown up multiple times. I believe this is the Vulcan cannon. I I'm going to, I'm going to do a little quick thing called gungeon. And check out some guns on here and just see real quickly what we want to take. So this boy is a quality glacier fires bouncy icy cubes. Okay, solid. Is it what we want? I don't know. Um, I'm continuing to scan what the other thing was. Was this the Vulcan cannon? Was that correct? And that was the Vulcan cannon? No, that is not the Vulcan Cannon. This thing is... I will see it when I see it. And I just have not seen it yet. Dude, what the hell? Where is... There it is. It's the Laser Lotus. Piercing lasers. Electrifies water. I feel like it'd be really good with the... Uh, with the Vorpal Bullets that we have. This other thing is this. The Gun Eater, the Patriot. It's an S tier. Holding down the trigger will greatly increase the fire rate. That's what we want. <laughs> yeah, and it has a synergy, which is going to make it insane. Um, yeah, okay. This was the correct choice. I do remember this. It's a very good gun. Um, we're going to utilize it to the utmost of its ability, and it's going to allow... It's got 2,000 bullets, too. Uh, this is going to allow us to... Annihilate everything. And it's going to get Vorpal Bullets to activate more often. Uh, which just all of these are positive things. I did just run into him, which was pretty bad. But everything about this is fine. Li life is good. Uh, we will still continue to crack up our uh, HP. And I'll be honest with you, I don't really see a way that we don't flawless the dragon here um i think we have an ideal setup for the dragon as long as i get you know as long as i keep the two blanks i have for the garbage wave that i still don't know how to fight without using a blank um so i am very not concerned about the future of this one this gun does shred through ammo i will say that i mean i've, I've used 300 of our 2000 ammo in it already that's a lot. Yeah, that sucked too. And made me sad. But we are totally fine. We still have our railgun as well. I mean, it, there's just... There's no way we lose, is what I'm going to say. Um, this is also one that I think it is... That is a really bad play. Um, I think it's definitely reasonable for us to say that we... 
probably will kill the Lich on this f uh, run, too. I, I don't want to stand by that one because I I know myself and I've had some very, very strong Gungeon runs that I end up throwing away because of my own stupidity. Um, I mean, we did just lose, like, a lot of armor in the past couple of seconds here. I still got Composite Gun, man. I kind of forgot about this. Okay, where are we going? We're going up. This is not where I expected to have to go before, but that's life. I mean, Composite Gun is still very strong. And one shots. Still a large majority of everything. What will I use against the dragon? Um, it's going to be hold down the Patriot and let her rip will be dragon. Which is why maybe I want to uh, save it right now. Not that I don't think we're going to get no ammo from here on out, but it's still probably in their best interest to not use it. Um, I don't think we need to use the light gun. You know, I think that we can use some of our better guns. Yo, frig off, you stupid idiot you. Such an annoying enemy, Mr. Skelly Boy. Thank you for the ammo. It goes into Sir Iron Patriot. War Machine. It's a Captain America reference. Anybody? Not a single person, huh? Fair enough. No Marvel fans in the house. I understand. It's not a live video, so you can't react to begin with, but... Okay. Uh, we do have What's-His-Face. I don't think he can give me anything, though. Um, so we don't necessarily have a huge interest in utilizing his abilities. Which also just means I have... You will not come back to life, buddy. Uh, we have no reason to fully clear the floor if we... You know what? I'm glad you pulled it back, man. I would have gotten hit had you not. Uh, it's the boss, so let's, let's just do it. Like I said, it is absolutely... Patriots are boy on this one. Although, I did just somehow manage to reload and it did something. That was a blank. Um, I don't know what I did. Someone will tell me and be like, Hey, stupid, you've been using X gun wrong all along. And I'll go, you right. I was wrong. But that will be something that occurs at a later date. Digging myself in a hole here for sure. Okay. Can I do a little bit of this action? Come on, finish him up, finish him up, finish him up, thank you. Now just don't get hit in this phase and we have ourselves a flawless. Not that we need it, I mean, like I said, I, I think that this is maybe a run that is very, very likely to be lichable, um, even in our current state. Just because of the absolute power and, more importantly, ammo that we have here. Can I finish you off on this one? No, nah, it's going to be close. I mean, we'll get him on the next one for sure. We'll reload. But easy dragon fight. Two blanks is about all I need to flawless this fight now, uh, which is awesome. I That was very close, though. Uh, it's awesome because the dragon used to be such a huge accomplishment for me, and now I do it, I mean, basically every single run that I play, which is exciting. The Lich is still hard. Uh, I've only killed it, I think, three times ever. That doesn't sound right, though. I feel like I've done it more, because I definitely did it to unlock Gunslinger. And I definitely have done it. I've done the Lich more than three times. I don't know, man. Look, it's it's neither here nor there. We're, we're going to do it, and we're going to get it done on this video. I am confident in my ability to kill uh, ye old Lich today. Show me the money. And we get another chest on top of it. Give me... I mean, I know what people want me to do. They want me to take Casey. Let me look at Alpha Bullets here. Because I know these are probably very good. Um, alpha bullets doubles the damage dealt by the first bullet in a clip. Um, yeah, I mean, that's a double damage composite. I mean, that makes the composite gun stupid. I mean, it, it's stupid already here. That has to be, like, one of the best synergies for the composite gun, no? 
I mean, the first bullet in this thing is just stupid, ridiculously good, and one shots everything in sight. I like it at least. You know what? If you don't like it, and you're going to tell me, Tyler, you should have taken the uh, electric guitar because the electric guitar is fun as hell. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong, because a big part of me will want to take the electric guitar, too. I just I don't think we need guns here. I think that finding a way to just passively make our run that much better is likely more valuable for us anyway. And sometimes I think the Fool's Gambit and Gungeon is relying on guns to save you instead of items. Wiggly bullets. Wiggly bullets. Don't do this to me. I refuse. First bullet is the insane one. You you reload as much as you can now with this gun. Now, we are running out of bullets in it. Um, and we want to ensure that that is not you, not Hermione. Not always the case. These guys are a little bit scary. Stop. There's a lot of them, actually. Frig off, buddy. Give me a little, give me a little, uh, Iron Patriot time. This is a wiggly floor. It's a wiggly room. Spray and pray, baby. <laughs> okay. We're fine. You're gonna turn into big dude. We, 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 we've done this before. Very cute. Railgun? It's excessive. I won't deny that. But did it get the job done? Uh, heck yeah, it did. Buddy. So we actually have not gotten hit on this floor, uh, which is a real pleasant surprise, because normally I get hit a lot on this floor. Um, so, doing fine. Keep it up. Blanks are nice. Um, you, you basically need all the blanks you can get to handle second phase uh, of Lichy Boy. I will be compositing. I will de be I will be depositing into the composite. In case you are curious about my game plan. And then I'm going to be hopping in here. Doing a little bit of this action. It takes two bullets of my current composite gun to kill that guy. Do you know how nuts that is? It's stupid good, man. That is real stupid good. Very difficult to be angry. When you're doing... Enough damage to kill old head with two shots. Composite gun. I've made a lot of possibly questionable decisions on this run. But the composite gun alpha bullets decision, there's not a single person that's allowed to hate. Because it has proven... Oh, it's Wiggly Boys. Wiggly Boy gotta go. Anyone else can stay. Wiggly boys have to go. Like, these guys don't care about them. They're fine. Not an issue. Wiggly boys, gotta go. These dudes suck too. But, I mean, they, they're they kind of a standard sucks. We're, we're, we're kind of used to them just being terrible at life. Now you, you're a special kind of stupid. We hate you too. Okay. Is this just the room of magicians I despise? You'd think this was the freaking uh, 1700s, man. Okay. On the bright side, uh, just the nature of me coming down into this floor and not sucking the big one like I normally do. Um, we... Oh, yeah. Fair, enough. Fair play. Fair play. You got me. Uh, we will... Beat the Lich. I mean, I've, I've got so much HP that it's very difficult for me to believe I will not be beating the Lich. I mean, we literally have, like, 15 hits we can take. Well, now 14 hits that we can take total. 14 hits, or 13 hits we can take total. Still, it, it, it's a stupid amount of uh, HP that we have. And we're going to have blanks that we can use on that second phase. The second phase is worst phase. And I, I will stand by that. Second phase just blows. We should be getting close, man. 
I mean, it's not, it's not out of the ordinary to not find the Lich sometime on this floor. Blasphemy officially sucks uh, because we do not have the ability to fire shots out of it. So we chill. I don't need the key. I mean, I've got four of them and I'm not using them anywhere anytime soon. Should not have even gone in this room in all seriousness. We knew it had zero value to my life whatsoever. Killed big head in one shot. I just realized that the railgun is doing like a absurd amount of damage to enemies. Because this first shot is doing double the damage. That makes for an interesting time. So this thing is doing double damage to all enemies. Is that accurate? I don't know just how accurate it is, but maybe this is the move. And this is why I'm destroying everything. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're probably going to stick with this strat for a little while longer. It, it's really good. Definitely annihilating a lot of people in the room. I, I mean, I just, I didn't even bother for the room to finish. And we just walked right through and moved on to the next one. Here, composite gun. You forgot that I haven't used this one in a while. Still got full uh, ammo in this bad boy. That said, you gotta go, buddy. I definitely thought I would get hit by that yet again, but here we are. No, you gotta go. You as well. I hate to break it to you. You ain't that strong to begin with, so you gotta go. Yeah, okay, that, that one we were going to take some hits on. He spawned on top of me. Is this just the, like, every big thing spawns in this room? It's a little rude. Not a big fan. I think this is going to be the way to the boss fight. Just got that feeling inside of me. You spawn more people yet again. So many, like, double and triple rooms down here. I mean, they, they really do make this floor a challenge, which, it, I mean, it's supposed to be. But I can't be too, too angry. Because, I, I don't even know, do people consider it to not be a win unless you beat the Lich? Or is it kind of just standard knowledge, you know, five floors, six, one optional? Or is, like, beating a pass an acceptable way to end a run? The only issue is I can't beat the past as the Paradox. Because the Paradox don't got no past. Okay, here we go. So we have 10 hits. 10, man. It, it's it's kind of whatever. You still suck, though. Let's see if we can Flawless the Lich. That is still something that I have not done. Um, I don't expect today to be the day that I do it, either. Because this guy's still... Uh, he's still a little horrible. <laughs> Like, you are seeing this, right? Still still a hard fight. I mean, he, he's doing attacks I, I didn't even know he could do. That said, that's the first phase, Flawless. Um, this is where we use the blanks if we need them. Uh, and I think this is maybe a Patriot scenario here. Snag me, buddy. Thank you. See you later. And by later, I mean, see you right now, you son of a gun. Okay, get rid of... Yes, I know. Get rid of these. Y y you have to use some... Blanks if you have any hope in this one. It's going fine, though. I mean, we, we are melting him, so... Take that for what it's worth. Okay. Yo, I hate those. For sure. He's almost dead. You do still have one blank you can use. And he is, uh, he is, he is third phase dead. And you still got a, or second phase dead. You still got a blank. We might pull off the flawless. I'm not going to say for sure. But this is, I believe, considered to be the easiest phase. Maybe that's also just literally insane, and this is the hardest phase, but so far, easiest phase. And then this is where 
we have things come in from all over. Let's just let's just end that right now. Not the right gun to be using. I hate it. I took some damage. That's okay. And you know what? This is still a very good lich fight, man. Uh, I'm I'm still learning all of his attacks as a whole too. So the fact that I only took uh, right now two dam well okay I I'm taking more damage than than I d okay it, we we took some damage on the fight it, we might still die to him but I I think that that's relatively unlikely he's dead uh, that's a good fight for us I'm very happy I c I can be content with this run. Uh, it was a very strong one, as literally all rainbow runs are. Uh, I'm going to reconsider doing rainbow for the next one. Uh, I think that we can probably switch back to just doing regular old paradox runs, and I'm just going to pretend like the first three or two or whatever episodes of this uh, were normal and standard. This is a really nice image right here. I'm going to print screen that real quick so I can use that possibly in the thumbnail. Uh, thanks so much for watching. As always, a like on the video is much appreciated. As always, I'll see you guys next time. You have a good day. Goodbye.